All right, what's good, Thumpers? As you can tell by the title, I'm reacting to Cash Nasty, reacting to my Proof He Sold His Soul video. My finesse worked once again. I'm two for two this year in finessing the YouTube creators. But right now, we're about to get into the reaction. I don't want this video to be too long. I got my green screen, but I am not at my original setup location. And that's why this shit looks like this, but it shouldn't look too bad. I'm gonna do some touching up um, when I edit the video. But you niggas don't give a fuck about that extra information. You just wanna see the video. Yo! Oh! What's good, everybody? Man, I tweeted on Twitter the other day, y'all. And, uh, <laughs> I think I said, reply back with your best jump shot. Or I don't know what it was, bro. This dude sent this video said, Proof Cash Nasty sold his soul. <laughs> bro, I tell you, I did not sell my soul, y'all, all right? If I sold my soul, I wouldn't be doing YouTube no more. That is true. That is true. But I do believe, I'm not saying this nigga really did sell his soul. That's for another topic for another day. But I do think some YouTube niggas do sell their souls, so that's not that's true and not true at the same time. Cause it's just a different type of finesse that the niggas do. But hey, Cash Nasty said he didn't sell his soul, he didn't sell his soul. Oh my god! <laughs> This video, the clip that I used, that actually was um, inspiration for me making this video. I seen this and I was like, yeah, I got to include that shit in it. Yeah. That is it. <laughs> You're good. You're good. This could be a good video. Very good. Oh, man. As you can tell by the title, this is Proof Cash Nasty Sold His Soul. Now I have a few other videos on my channel exposing other YouTube sellouts and before I gathered the evidence of them selling their souls, I already knew deep down that they sold their soul, but with Cash Nasty, it's a different story. He bro, you're good. Like, you keeping this a, a straight face, bro. You, like, you, you're literally selling it. Really good, bro. I try, I try. Y'all don't know how long it takes me to make these videos. It's not, this video that uh, he reacting to is 15 minutes. It take me like, 45 minutes to an hour sometimes when I record these videos because I be fucking laughing in between. It's hard to make these videos keeping a straight face, but you got to finesse. If I'm laughing, <laughs> it won't be believable, you know? I know your girl have a hard time being in a relationship with you, bro. <laughs> Woo! You keep a straight face everything. He openly admitted numerous times on his Twitter that he did, in fact, sell his soul. The first tweet that he admitted he sold his soul was from 2015. It says, fuck, I'll sell my soul for this win. <laughs> Next one is Bro, they all I'm selling my soul right now for LeBron James to win this shit at the Oh my god, this is this is how LeBron James is. This is why he endorses, bro. Like I feel like Bro, I don't know. Oh my god, this is why I'm drunk, yo. Oh yeah. my I will sell my soul for LeBron James legacy. I sold my soul to the bills. I'm forever indebted to paying bills the rest of my life. What the fuck was I thinking? Using that, you're you're good, bro. Very good, I man. Had to delete that tweet. People really think I sold my soul to the Illuminati. Shake my head. It's a joke. For those of y'all that don't know, sellouts tend to expose themselves to us and disguise it as a joke, so we won't know that they're being serious, and we won't know that they <laughs> actually do sell their souls and perform evil acts. So I know me showing y'all those tweets of Cash Nasty admitting to selling his soul won't prove anything to y'all because he was joking, and that's why I gathered. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a pastor, bro. Bro, you, bro. If you was my pastor, bro, anything you would have said from that book, that Bible, bro, I literally would give you money when it when the tip drop passed by, bro. <laughs> because I'm gonna believe it. You're good at this. I can't really do that shit in real life. In real life, I don't keep a straight face. I'm pretty. I'm a what the fuck. I'm a pretty laughy nigga, you know, in real life. But for these videos, like I said, I gotta finesse, make it believable. So no, I wouldn't be a good pastor. I'll start laughing and niggas will leave the church. You manipulative, bro. The evidence I have is the blood sacrifice. Blood rituals often involve a symbolic death and rebirth as literal bodily birth involves bleeding. Blood is typically seen as very powerful and sometimes as unclean. Blood sacrifice is sometimes considered by the practitioners of prayer, ritual magic, and spell casting to intensify the power of such activities. Now with these blood sacrifices, you can either sacrifice another human being or you can sacrifice animals. 
Cash nasty. Oh <laughs> my gosh! He about to go to my shelf on nasty videos. Things, things I have learned while hunting when I was young in the country. You about to? <laughs> oh, bro! You a finesse. dangerous person, bro. It's finesse. It's finesse. Oh man! With a straight face, y'all. Like he's not showing no way that he's joking. His nose not flaring. <laughs> like this look, believe he's not. He's not blinking fast or nothing. This, it's all bro, intentional. It's all intentional. I try not to blink. I try. It's all intentional. When y'all see these cuts, y'all notice every time I say like a sentence or some shit, it's a cut because I'm laughing. This shit is hard to do. Give me my fucking props for finessing and getting these niggas to react, man. Channel called Cooking with Chef O Nasty, and of course he cooks food. Now I don't think nothing is wrong with cooking food, eating animals, or nothing like that. But Cash Nasty doesn't just cook the animals; he catches them and ends their life. And I know what some of y'all are saying, nigga. It's people in real life who catch and cook animals, and you're right about that. But the difference with Cash Nasty doing it is he's catching them, ending them, and posting it online for millions to see. We don't watch videos of fucking cows and pigs. Actually, millions of views on those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have to go to, I think it's a, well, that, uh, that part of YouTube right there, I'm sure it's not monetized. You know what I mean? So YouTube don't push it, but yeah. Like there's there's like documentaries on Netflix too, bro. Like these slaughterhouses, how they eat pigs and everything, bro. Like, you know, just bro, they got no room to walk. Like they literally like this right now, whole life. And they pick them up, slice up. No, I don't want to get demonetized. Get cap in here. I gotta say bullshit sometimes too to fit the fit the narrative. Yes, I know it is videos like that on YouTube. I watch those videos, but I gotta finesse. I gotta say bullshit. Go to back to any. Proof um a nigga so they so video I have on the channel. I always add something ridiculous. I mean it's all ridiculous, yeah, but I always add that one part that they could really deny. It's all strategic, really. Cash Nasty does it in a different way. He catches small animals, little crabs and fish, animals like that. That's still a blood sacrifice. Crabs! A blood sacrifice! They don't got blood. Negro! They don't have they don't have blood, I know. Crabs! They don't have blood. They don't have blood. Like I was saying, I gotta add ridiculousness to it with a straight face so you believe me. A lot of niggas probably seen this and believe me because they don't fucking know because I have a straight face. Crabs don't have blood. I'm aware of that. I'm aware. And the only reason Cash Nasty doesn't actually show him taking the animal's life on. Can I get the money tossed? That's the reason why I put that down. Alright? I cannot pay bills uh. if I show that on the tube, okay, bro? Camera is because he'll get demonetized and he won't receive the money that he yeah. sold and sold for. And I also wanted to mention that the earliest video I could find on Cash Nasty's channel of him making a cooking video is from 2015. And that just so happens to be the same year that he first tweeted about selling his soul. It's not a coincidence. Now for the final ritual that I'm going to be talking about in this video is the humiliation ritual. Now when you sell your soul, you have to perform these rituals because the, the, the demons, entities, they feed off of negativity. They get power from negativity. So when you are humiliated, you're embarrassed, you're upset, ashamed. You just, you don't feel good. And that's giving the higher ups, entities, demons, negative energy that they thrive on. So they see that you would put yourself in these type of situations to move up the ranks and show that you would do anything for money. Sometimes when I make these videos, I'll be thinking, cause I, I'm mixing in truth with, um, you know, some funny cat. But some of this shit, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying this nigga did sell his soul, but I do believe that people do sell their souls. I be thinking, because these videos be getting viewed by 100,000 people and stuff, right? I be thinking, what if some higher up niggas is watching me say this shit, you know? I'm not scared, but what if these niggas kill me one day? If I stop uploading forever, you know why? Cash Nasty has been performing these humiliation rituals for years in front of our faces. And it all stems from LeBron James. Now, LeBron James is Cash Nasty's favorite basketball player ever. He's uh -huh. Cash Nasty's idol. Cash Nasty loves LeBron James. Oh, For those Lord. of y'all that, you know, have any sense in your head, you already know LeBron James is a sellout. He's LeBron. Bro, if I sold out, I'd be up there with LeBron. <laughs> and I wouldn't be looking up to him. I'd be looking on the right side of him. We'd be right there together eat, in, in Cancun. <laughs> Eating on some scallops together, bro. <laughs> Okay. We can't have everyone at the same exact 
fucking ranking because it wouldn't make sense. But yeah, I see where he's coming from. Now, Cash Nasty has multiple videos on his channel of him going to NBA games or more specifically Lakers or Cavaliers games to try to get LeBron's attention. LeBron, you the GOAT! Look at this nigga's face, bro. This nigga is hurt from LeBron James not looking at him. That's that. Bro, you gotta remind me of this, bro. Like, man, it's making me sad now, bro. You know what I mean? I play LeBron James. He never sees me, bro. He what? He, he never sees me, bro. Just, it's, it's, no, I don't believe that, bro. Why doesn't he respond to him? It's because LeBron is a high-ranking member of the elites. LeBron is one of the entities that gets power from the negativity. He knows what he's doing. Even Bronny himself went on to humiliate Cash Nasty. Yo, yo, this dude, this dude LeBron is up right now. Oh, wait. This dude is up. Wait. If y'all don't know what's going on in this video, um, Bronny is pranking um Cash by acting like LeBron is in the room wanting to talk to him and shit, but he didn't. Humiliation. Cash is definitely has a hard cock right now. <laughs> I'm trying to hear LeBron's voice, man. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Bro, you're fucking ass. Yo, brother, you capping, man. Huh? You capping, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, man. I can't trust him. He's joined, bro. Oh, man. Bro, don't do me like that, bro. Come <laughs> on, man. Having nothing but good people to you, man. <gasps> These things happen to Cash Nasty and he gets laughed at by millions of people. And as a result, he moves up the ranks, gets more subscribers, more money. He's moving up as this stuff happens to him because it's a humiliation ritual. That's how these rituals work. One of Cash Nasty's sellout buddies, Flight Reacts, performs these humiliation rituals. He got my boy! You going too far, bro. You going way too far, bro. Rituals as well. He's not good at basketball. The humiliation ritual. That's how these rituals work. One of Cash Nasty's sellout buddies. Leave my boy fly out of this, man. Even LeBron James performs these humiliation rituals. What happens when LeBron James loses? People say he he's washed. He's he, he's not better than Jordan. He's he's a crybaby. They say this stuff, and then what seems to happen every time after LeBron loses a few times in a row? He wins the championship, and the cycle continues. You gotta perform these types of acts, and Cash Nasty performs them, and Cash Nasty knows it. They all know it. They're aware of it. Yes, they get embarrassed, but they don't give a fuck. They are sellouts. They don't give a fuck what they do. They don't give a fuck what they have to do. Dude, dude, <laughs> the fact your face is so straight, it's amazing. Bro, if anybody's around us, don't trust this dude. <laughs> Do not trust this dude, bro. If he's still from you, you would not know. Bro, he was, bro, if he talking to your girl behind your back, you would not, you had to find out through her. You, bro, you think everything good. This dude is too <laughs> smooth. He's too good. Cash Nasty is a grown ass man acting like this because of LeBron. Oh, I'm not having trouble. Why this nigga's, oh, he's scared. He's finessing. This nigga finesse. He knew that shit was copyrighted. This nigga is good. What the fuck? LeBron was born December 30th, 1984, and Cash Nasty was born December 4th, 1990. If you do 1990 and subtract 1984, you get six. If you subtract the 30 from- Why the hell we gotta subtract? LeBron's birthday by four, Cash Nasty's birthday, you get 26. You take the two out of the 26, you got six, so that's two sixes. Of course you gonna make numbers, bro! 
You take the one and you plus it by seven. Seven is how many times cash has to blink with, within one second. <laughs> and you put the six with the five back with it, it becomes the six. Ball course! December is the 12th month, and they were both born in December. So it's two people, LeBron and Cash Nasty. So you add the two and one from LeBron being born in December, or one plus two if you want to look at it that way in the right order. One plus two is three. Three. And then Cash Nasty was born in December as well. One plus two is three. Three plus three is six. So that's six, six, six. And if y'all remember those tweets I showed y'all, the first time Cash Nasty said something about him selling his soul was in 2015. And if you want to look at the dates again, six. Oh, my God, bro. Leave me alone, bro. 16, 15. God, one bro. Six June. That's six and one right there. You take away the one, that's six. Five plus one is six, 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 six. And keep in mind, Cash Nasty said, I will sell myself for this one. He didn't say he would. And remember, 2015, the Cavaliers lost that year. They lost so, to the Golden State Yeah, so I mean, I didn't sell it. The State Warriors. And then look, the next year, Cash Nasty tweeted this out and look at the date again june that's six 19 take away the one put the nine upside down that's six Bro. one and six and the 16 take away the one that's six 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 and then look i'm selling my soul right now for lebron james to win this shit at the illuminati he said i'm selling Bro, my you, soul you got a punchable face bro do you, i you really do bro yeah i want to punch me in the face and what happened? The Cavaliers came back 3-1 because Cash Nasty sold his soul. Look at the dates. This is, I'm not, this is not Photoshop or nothing. You could go look at the tweets yourself. That's all I got for y'all on this one. It's some more proof I could have told y'all, but I feel like this stuff was the major, major stuff. And if you didn't change your mind after seeing this video, you probably won't ever change your mind. You probably won't ever wake up. Cash Nasty, I've been watching him since 2015, the year he sold his soul. That's probably why I started watching him because, you know, I unknowingly <laughs> fell into the trap. I don't know, but it is really that shit was kind of funny. Cash enough. Nasty did in fact sell his soul. Cash Nasty was one of my favorite favorite YouTuber streamers. It is really sad to see what he did to to get where he is. Psych. I don't think this nigga Cash Nasty sold his soul. Bro, I was just about to sit right here and smack on a green screen. Like to your face, bro. You haven't seen me before. I make these trolling proof YouTubers sold their soul videos. I do not think Cash Nasty sold his soul. All this shit was pulled out of my ass. I like Cash Nasty. Cash Nasty. I've been watching this nigga since 2015. Cash Nasty is one of my favorite YouTubers. Cash, I, I respect Cash Nasty. All the niggas who I made these videos on, I respect. But to all the viewers, I don't think this nigga sold his soul. Go subscribe to Cash. You probably subscribe to Cash Nasty if you're watching this video. 90, 99% of y'all. Yeah, this nigga ain't sell his soul. Or at least not from what I know of. Who knows? But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I enjoyed the video, bro. You're good, bro. You're, 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 you're good, bro. All right, that was my reaction to Cash Nasty reaction to the video. That was a good one. I'm bringing these Sote They Soul videos um, back. I'm thinking of doing Duke Dennis next, but just um, tell me in the comments who y'all want me to do next. I'm about to start finessing. It's September right now. I got to get back on the consistency. I'm going to start um, just finessing in other aspects. You know, I made my next video probably going to be about your rage. It's not going to be a proof he sold his soul video because I already did that. He reacted and everything. But I'm a finesse. I know how to finesse. I know how to get these niggas to react to the videos. That's just easy finesse. I'm trying to get 10,000 by December, and I think I can do it. Shout out to Cash Nasty for reacting. That was a funny video. Uh, I got nothing else to say, but stay safe enough.